Hi friends, welcome to Aishu DIY. Today we will make a pearl chain. I have some assorted pearls. I believe it's 10 millimeter in size. So I have in this beautiful teal color and this purple and then light lavender. So this was a <clears throat> mix of different shapes. I mean different sizes and all these colors and two other colors I believe it was a <coughs> box full of beads I bought it in Michael's a while ago so I have these then what we need is some 20 gauge wire I have this wire it's an artistic wire it's 20 gauge and it comes in a spool like this i bought it from michael's a while ago so we need that and then we need some chain this is roller chain 8.5 millimeter meter i think 8.5 meter um i'm not sure the size is a little bit thicker not very thin but this is perfect and it's in stainless steel so it won't tarnish so that's a good thing and i need we need a closed jump ring and then this is a little bit uh, twisted on one side and plain on the other side so I thought it is pretty and some jump rings I have jump rings and a lobster claw clasp everything in stainless steel and I have these tea colors so I have made uh, gone ahead and made the loops in this uh, I have six in this and six in this and six in this and we need three more uh, and for that we need to cut the 20 gauge artistic wire in stainless steel into one inch pieces so one inch piece and you can snip off the edge i mean flush cut the edge that way your loops will look uh, pretty so all you need to do is you can actually measure it but i eyeball it i know exactly how much to bend to make a loop um with practice it will come but you can always measure so here is my loop and i add the bead and <clears throat> i bend it and then make another loop it is the basic loop so there we have and then i'll do it one more time so if you're thing is not flush just cut a little bit off so that it's flush at the end I like less than half an inch more than quarter inch um, there is my loop so now you add the bead so my loop comes and ends here so add the bead and I um, pin the wire where my loop comes and ends the side so this side so my loop is like this on the top and bottom it will be like this so it's just a design preference that I used to um, like so and creates and make sure the loop is completely closed and take your time to adjust the loop if it is not centered properly or if it is not closed properly because these chain are thinner um so we don't want this to come off so this chain um i have 44 inches here doesn't matter you have to have 44 inches you can have less 24 inches is the normal length size for a longer chain necklace um so you can um I mean, you can uh, take a size one and a half per portion. I just took 44 inches and then we will cut and we'll add it. And if it is more, then we can take it off. I mean, we can use the scrap for anything. So this wire, I have cut a little bit more, not one inch, um, almost two inches. So the thing is, I want to make a swirl so the first thing i want to make is i want to make a loop and attach um here is my loop then i want to 
um, straighten the wire a bit add this bead these beads have pretty big hole you just need to keep that in mind and then for this I am just going to bend this wire and make a swirl so and then so I can use a flat nose pliers You can also use your nylon job pliers if you feel that um, you will damage the wire by holding your thing very firmly but right now I'm trying my level best but nothing is seem to be working so there you go it's pretty hard so I would say just experiment with the different wires there's different types of wires the most prominent one that you will get is the artistic wire and Michaels have different brands as um, all together so um, there is para wire there is zebra wire there are so many different kinds of wires I would say you experiment all different types and find the one that um, suits for you um, I thought this uh, swirl would look nice so now I want to add this um, bead by opening the other end hopefully you know this is the same okay I am opening this end and then adding it to the jump ring So this is what I have. I want the swirl to be flat and not vertical looking. So what I would say is just twist it. Yeah. There we have our swirl. And now all we have to do is assemble it. So one inch wire was perfect for this 10 millimeter pearls to make two loops, which is nice and big, as you can see. So these are the extra ones that we have. Now let's take our wire. At one end of the wire, all you need to do now is add your beads. So open up the loop and add the um, chain link into the loop and now close it. So that's closed and now this is probably the end of the um, one end of the chain right. So I have added a purple and then I will add this. Um, I'll open up the other end of this purple wire, I mean purple bead. Because the hole is big. I don't know where my loop is starting. So I want to add my pretty swirl bead dangle to this. Okay, this is what I have snow so far. And then, now, all you have to do is measure a point and then cut the wire, uh, cut the chain and add one more link. So we'll alternate between the purple, the green 
yeah the purple the lavender and the teal blue okay we'll add this and um, you can measure it or you can eyeball it either way is fine i would say i'll take just a head pin a straight head pin that way it's easier i don't have to take my roller all the time so i'll just take a head pin straighten it out okay work with me here work with me okay okay and all you need to do is you need to keep this right here okay fine and that's where i want to cut the next one mm, so there you go so all you need to do is now add this open up this loop and add this chain to that loop and then close it so we have this so far now what we can do is you can as i said you can put the head pin in the first link and then take another the chain and put this end inside as well okay now you know exactly how long you have cut the last one right so it's easy to cut the chains this way so you will get it right every time that's what um, you can also measure and cut but you can cut this way too now we have a sample here so all we need to do now is go ahead add the chain here and then you can come down and you will know how much you have to cut so with the chain there is a link in every chain that you can open up instead of cutting two there it is you can do that too if you want to let me show you these chains come with the link so um, it's not very visible um, but they do come up with the link you can actually twist and open it as a jump ring instead of cutting if you can see in my hand this is how every chain looks so you can do this as well cutting is faster i give you that but if you are cutting a lot of chains then it's um, better to do it this way i mean better to cut it the only thing you need to make sure that it doesn't fly around the cover your hands so that it's easier so now this way see i cut this chain one link one link short so just need to be careful all you need to do now is add this so we have already added the purple and this one now we need to open up this side of the pearl add a chain and then close the loop 
and now you open up another teal blue and add this end of the chain and close it and then open up this end of the bead add another piece of chain and then close it now we have the purple the lavender and the teal again i'm starting with purple again so i'm just gonna do this continue doing this and then um it's going to be one long chain and then we are going to double it up i'll show you guys how it will look when it's doubled and i put together everything i'll cut more chains and finish this up and then i'll meet you guys there <laughs> 